guys, I'm back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a phenomenal day today. And today I'm excited because we get to ask the favorite question of mine. Is it? Is it really? Because we are talking about another value set. I'm so glad that was facing the right way because I thought I was doing this for a second. That wouldn't have been cute. Um, but yes, we are talking about another one of the value sets. This one is exclusive to JC Penny Sephora. I'm hoping to get this out while it is still physically in stores because I only got this, I swear if you what, a week ago? Probably about a week ago. Um, but this is the Sephora Favorites Refresh Set and Glow, and it is a $42 gift set, and they gave it a value of $145. But is it? Is it really? We will find out because I'm going to go through each and every one of these products. This set features 11 products that does not include the bag because we never include the bag, even though I, no joke, guys, I kind of wanted it for the bag. So I have this thing about mint. That's how I bought my mixer and my Keurig. And I have a vegetable uh, juicer that now matches. I'm a weirdo. If it's mint, I'm like, uh -huh, uh -huh, I'll take that. Um, but on to the gift set. So yes, it features 11 different products. And we're going to move that over there. And at the very end, we'll discuss the actual full value of this set. Um, so the first thing that was in here, I was a little disappointed in it. And it's sizing, because I guess my brain didn't realize like how much this little guy was. Um, this is the one I've gotten in different travel sets. Um, this is from Bubble Bubble. It's their BB Repair um, Blow BB Repair Blow Dry. Um, but this is the one that comes inside the set. It's a .5 ounce, and the one I was imagining that was in the set is two ounces. So I guess um, a lot to the imagination. Um, but yes, this is the one that's featured in the set. So it's .5 ounces, and it is worth three dollars and twenty cents. It's one of my favorite things. It would be great if I ever have to go away and do my hair for like you know like two days of doing hair because like that's probably how much use is in there I have no idea I have a lot of hair I'm not a good representation probably for most of my viewers because I feel like not all of the, of the people that watch me probably have you know hip length hair not waist hip length um then the next thing that is inside the set I literally walked around trying to find this while I was inside JC Penny Sephora you know, all the different Sephora's are set up differently. Uh, but this is the Clean in the Rain scent, and it is a .17 ounce. He's worth $5.72. I really like it. It smells... Granted, I'm a weirdo when it comes to scents. I mean, I like everything from Daisy Dreams to, uh, if you've ever smelt Commodity, they have some weird scents, and I love the scent book. But this smells like, you know, when freshly rain has, like, hit the ground, and it smells like wet dirt. That's a weird scent to want, but I like it. Maybe that's not what everyone smells, but I smell wetter. Um, that's why I bet, that's why I think bergamot smells like. If you don't know what bergamot is, it's like a citrus fruit, but I think it smells like wetter. Um, and then the next thing in here is from Clinique, and this is their Prep Start Hydro Blur Moisturizer. I don't understand why it's Hydro Blur. Maybe it's supposed to be mattifying. Um, I love how I'm like, this is the correct way, but it looks this way on the package on the back. It's weird. Um, but this is a 0.24 ounce and he is worth $4.16. I think the whole concept of this set is that you're literally able to pick up the set and like go to the gym. Um, yeah, I wouldn't take this thing to the gym because like the next thing that's in here is from Pharmacy, which it took me a second to find this because literally I cannot find it on Sephora's website because they actually don't feature this particular mask. They do feature all the other pharmacy masks, but this is the Pharmacy Hydrating Coconut Gel Mask Deep Moisture. Um, this is the cucumber one. So they have like a lot of different like I can't even remember some of the other ones that they have, but basically they're all like one like specific ingredient feature and this one particular is cucumber and I did not see that on Sephora's website, but all their masks are the exact same price. They're set of $3 for $24, so this mask is $8, but I would never take a mask to the gym. Because why? Who? Do, I, I want to know who actually does a face mask. If you have done a face mask to the gym, I would love to see a selfie. Hashtag Foxy Life in that picture. I will see it. Um, but yes, there is that. Let me just sit on my phone. I don't know if you guys can see my phone. My phone's off in the background. Um, no one's calling it. No one. Um, and then the next thing in here is from Fiero. Fiero. I have no. I'm, I'm probably screwing that up. Um, I screw up all words. It's Fox and E's. Um, but this is the Luna Play, which is one of the selling points. This and the pharmacy mask are like the main selling points of this gift set because obviously $8 and the uh, Luna Play is $39. So I was like automatically made my bag. Um, but I have tried the hot pink one. It was in the Sephora Favorites Beauty's Most Trending. I think that was the name of it. I'm pretty sure that was the name of it. But they had the hot pink one in there. Color means nothing. It's just color. Um, but I was really excited that it was BB Blue because 
I'm a sucker for packaging. I like that it's blue. I'm a weirdo, but I do really, really, I have been enjoying the hot pink one, so I'm very excited to give that one a go when the hot pink one dies. Um, but yes, it's $39. It's supposed to have 100 uses, so that's like basically like over three months, like three and a half months. Math. I can do math, like not in front of the camera, but the second my camera's on, I'm like, oh, what's two plus two, six? Um, so the next thing that is in here is from Fresh. I almost grabbed the wrong thing. Um, it's from Fresh. It is the Sugar. It is the Sugar Rose Tinted Lip Creep Mint Sunscreen SPF 15 because that matters. The only thing that makes me upset about this is they literally like I love this. This is so nice. It's so hydrating, moisturizing on the lips. I just wish they would offer a different one than the rose tinted because they have a literally I swear they have like 10 or 12 different like tints why do they always gotta pick the rose like I guess they think everyone likes the rose I would just like some variety it's like chihuahua all over again from Too Faced and every single set had a Too Faced uh, melted lipstick in it and all of them were chihuahua I don't need so much chihuahua I don't need so much rose and that is a 0.07 ounce he is worth $11.20. And then the next thing in here is from, I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing this correctly. If I'm not, I'll tell me in the comments below. Um, but this is from Ula Henriksen. Ula. Pretty sure it's Ula Henriksen. I've asked it for like 16 times. I always screw it up. Um, but this is their tr um, Clean Truth Cleansing Class. And it is a 10 count and he's worth $5. I know I have another pack of these, but I don't think I've actually tried them. My sister is off camera playing with my new e.l.f. lip exfoliator. So much fun. She'll have to tell me how it is because she's touching it before I have. Um, don't judge me. Judge me. Um, and then the next thing in here is from Origins. This is their Ginseng Energy Boosting Moisturizer. Can it give me energy? Can they just like make a moisturizer that actually is like an energy drink but moisturizer? That would be great. That would sell millions. Someone do that. Uh, but this is a 0.5 ounce and he is worth $8.09. So I'm excited to try that now that I need another moisturizer. You guys should see the giant bag I have dedicated just to face moisturizers. Not to mention that I have lots of full sizes of that. Um, the next thing that is in here, I can get a little bit less about. Um, this is from the Sephora collection. These are a set of two of their mesh hair ties. Um, and it's a two count, so it's $2.75. I'm not really into the mesh hair ties just because I've got a lot of long, like I think I've mentioned this before to you guys. My hair is really long, it goes down to my hips, but it's also very, very thick um, and very, very heavy. So when I do like a ponytail, if I do it on these mesh things, like eventually they'll just start to fall down my head and then I'm like having to retighten it. It's never very cute and fun. Also, said so if you have like, if you ever get like headaches from like your ponytails, if you ever just put your hair to the side, it will like gravity. So it's not like pulling at like your roots. So it's not as hard on your head. And so when you take out your ponytail, you won't have a headache. Fun facts. So I'm excited about trying these and this mint one. So I don't know. I like it. That makes sense for a gym thing bag though. But most of this, I'm like, no one wants to take makeup with them to the gym. Unless you're just taking Instagram selfies. Then I understand. Um, but you're also probably someone to see I go to the gym with a frappuccino. Weird. Um, the next thing in here is from Supergoop. And this is their, my sister Ashley has used it before. And she's going to literally steal this after this video. Um, but this is their Defense Refresh Setting Mist with Rosemary, Broad Spectrum, Sunscreen SPF. That is a long, long name. I don't think that's actually part of the name. It's like the Broad Spectrum SPF, but whatever. Um, but yes, this is a... 0.5 ounce and he is worth four dollars and twelve cents so yep she's gonna enjoy that i've i'm not really into like how does it have sunscreen how does a setting mist have sunscreen i don't understand i think that's how i got it i think they had like a skin rescue set or something that had like a bunch of sunscreens and i think that came in it um and then the last thing that is inside the bag one of my favorite products in the entire world it is from Too Faced. it is their better than sex mascara Who's putting on mascara? Okay, granted, if I went to the gym and I, like, set off all my mascara, I would totally put on mascara, but I'm a weirdo. Um, but this is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is a .13 ounce, and he's worth $11.07. I just realized I didn't light my candle. That's probably a good thing, because I know at least my perfume's over to the side, so it's not lighting it on fire. Because perfume's flammable, right? I'm not going to test that. Um, but that is it for Inside the Bag, so that is all 11 items.
So that brings, so just a refresher, the bag, they retail valued it at $145. His actual value, I was very disappointed, is only $102.31, but that is still really good savings. It's a savings of 59%, which is really, really good. I mean, basically, like, if you wanted to try this Luna Play, you just had to pretty much, like, one other thing, and then you pretty much had the whole bag. So I'm super happy with it. If you do have a JCPenney Sephora, make sure you go and check it out. This is not hashtag sponsor. Penny is not sponsoring this. So, pennies, if you are watching, please, please, you'd make so much money. Just put these sets online. Do you know how many you would sell? Don't even know. Whole market not being reached. Um, but that is it for this video. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll put a link down on the social media down below. Stay boxy, guys.